No! <laughs> no. You like it? I actually do like it. <laughs> I love soul dance time. That's my like nervous just switch. Keep going. That's just how dance. I that's how I just that's how I get in the intro. I don't know the timing, but if I'm dancing, maybe we can just play it off. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was coordinated, it was planned. Awesome. Well, hello friends and welcome to this week's live stream. Um, happy Tuesday, everyone. As you can probably see by the stuff that's on our table, we've got some things to do today. And the thumbnail. Oh yeah, and the <laughs> thumbnail, and the title. The title, all that stuff. All signs point to weird cereal. Yes. Um, but before we dive in, we yes. can just, you know, say hi to everyone. Oh, hello. Yeah. Um, it was someone named Emma's birthday that I said happy birthday to. So happy birthday to, to, em to Emma. Someone named Emma. And if there are more of you named Emma whose birthday it also is, happy birthday to you as well. We're telepathically doing that. All <laughs> birthday wished. And yes. you guys are also on the table, by the way. So I know. We it's, we'll, we'll see how well I can balance, like... Between all the different things. Well, we had fun last week playing GeoGuessr with you guys on the table. Now, albeit we were guessing together, cheating together. So <laughs> albeit you guys were helping us win, so. <laughs> best game of GeoGuessr ever on YouTube. Um, <laughs> fighting words. No, but I figured that like it was, okay, we'll get you on the table while we're tasting this uh, Sour Patch Kid. So we'll like. Oh, I think some people are saying the audio is going in and out. Uh oh. Oh, so maybe it is because of the phone. Could be the phone. You guys might be removed from the table. We are in the midst of editing our next this main is an channel ASMR video. Channel now. Let's save this stream. Let's get back on track, people. <laughs> oh my God. All we right. We will make this stream work. Chris is here. We're all here. Anyway, so what Tyler was saying is that we're in the middle of editing our next. Um, yeah, you just have to swipe up. Yeah. It, you go like this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't work. Go like this. Oh, more. Yeah. So it's okay. not swipe up, it's more. Okay. Go. We're in the middle of editing our next main channel video, so that's going well. We filmed a couple of TikToks today, but I really wanted to film a TikTok where we went to the car wash because um, there's a really cool car wash near us and it was closed, so I was sad about that. But um, we have a lot of stuff going on. We're here now. I hope you guys all are having a great beginning of week. Monday, Tuesday, had a good weekend, all that jazz. Um, and besides that, um, today is the last stream that Chris is going to be here with us. Um, you might know Chris as the one who zooms, zooms in. <laughs> um, Chris is heading back to LA after this week. So we are going to be um, having our other producers step and like sub in and run that second camera in the future. But for now, everyone say, well, not right now, because Chris will be here for the next, you know, cup hour or so, however long we're streaming. <laughs> but everyone say, bye, Chris. Yeah, and so if we look off camera and we say a different name, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay, cool. I'm ready to do this. You want to jump in? Yes, absolutely. Um, finally, now we are going to jump in to the cereal. Now, um, this is a Sour Patch Kids flavored cereal. It's first up. Um, to be honest, I, I got this unusual cereal idea from Matt Pat's video that he did about like the green onion cereal in Korea. And after that, I was like, Carly, find me some weird cereals. <laughs> so this is one of the weird cereals that we came up with. Oh, yes. Weird and interesting. Unusual. 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 I think unusual is probably the best. I don't yeah. I don't want to have like a negative feeling. I don't want to have like negative connotations coming into this. Like weird sometimes can have like a negative, you know, feeling to it. Unusual. Unexpected cereal flavors. Um, I also have some fun facts about this, Tyler. If you want to open Showcase. this bad boy yeah. up and pour us a bowl. I also call this live stream Diabetes Ground Zero. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where it all goes back to, people. There you go. Um, this is, yeah. But anyway, I mean, this cereal terrifies me just because, I mean, Sour Patch Kids, Kids in general, it's a sugary cereal. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have watched any of our previous live streams, alternative content, videos, etc. I don't have great sugar tolerance, so. Oh, no, you don't. I just want to bid you guys, like Chris, I want to say goodbye to you guys. <laughs> because as this goes, we all know that my brain is going to dissipate. Last week when we were doing the GeoGuessr, we saw it happening. I was eating those globe things and I'm, my brain just started to wither. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Um, so I'll open this when you hear the crinkle. That's what it is. What are the fun facts? Can you yes, know? here we go. Sour Patch Kids were originally called Mars Men when they hit shelves in the 1970s, but rebranded in 1985, luckily due to the popularity of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Are you okay? Yeah, no, it's just a really strong <laughs> fragrance. Whoa! 
you know, there was, in amidst all of the sound nonsense, I forgot to remind, say to you guys, some of these cereals are very expired. They've all been sealed, they're vacuum sealed within their plastic bags, and we wanted to maximize variety of cereal, regardless of how healthy or safe they are to eat. So as we usually say with all of our videos, don't do anything we do ever. But these guys, one year po po post oh, yeah. expiration. These ones uh, expired in February of 2020, so. But I don't think that's what's driving the intensity of the smell. You wanna just, it's, it's crazy. It smells like runts. It smells like a fruit by the foot. It smells not like cereal, no grains, only sugar, Yeah. only candy. Have you ever thought that tricks were strong? These guys put those to shame. <laughs> what, was the, what were the fun facts? Yes, so um, uh, after Sour Patch Kids rebranded in 1985, um, Sour Patch Kids have a history of branching out into other products with things like ice cream, popsicles, yogurt, chewing gum. Ooh, I love that, just coming in on a hot air balloon or a yeah. parachute. What a healthy um, breakfast. And even a video game in 2011. Nice. The game World Gone Sour features a green Sour Patch Kid that falls out of a package in a movie theater and goes on a quest to get eaten. Those gum things were terrifying. Those things right there. Oh you my see god, that, oh my god, yeah. They look like, um, I mean, they, they look like Silent Hill monsters. They're like gooping into the ground. If I do remember something about Sour Patch Kids, um, uh, uh, commercials. It's like first they're sour and then they're sweet, yeah. right? It's the duality of man. The, du <laughs> <laughs> the duality of snack. Um, I was trying to remember if theirs, if theirs was a thing where it's like we are on a quest to get eaten, but I, I think it's just the video game. Also, we have excellent bowls for this. We have ones with little straws here. So we're going to get some good milkage. Um, I am a little bit worried about the milk. My stomach is already grumbling, but we did get lactate. Yeah. So life is good. I, I, yes. I am a person who found out that I was semi lactose intolerant at an older age. Yes. Um, by the way, you know what's funny is I heard a brand deal today for a cereal for the first time. So apparently there's a cereal bounce away out of people. Tyler, like. I think your mic might be out again. Uh-oh. Really? No, it's on, it's on, but maybe I'm muted. Oh, I am muted. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, this thing is... Here, here, it's like this. You wanna hit it? Oh, you know, maybe like I have a... Guys, I'm gonna yeah. put my mic pack on the table. Are you just doing something Maybe weird? like I have weird... Oh, you know what, I got mesh in my pockets. So you think that something's happening? You think happening? it's the mesh? Maybe it, it hits grippage. Right? It grabbed, it pulled, you know? Anyway, so Saf, do we, should we start to taste cereals? Yes, we definitely should. Um, we do also have these cute little like straw bowls. Yeah. Um, if you guys can see, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, you ready? Because yeah. we got the shot here. Ready? I'm gonna bring this in. So I was thinking no dry tastes, only as intended with the milk. Yes, absolutely. Look at those little guys. And I don't know if this is gonna disgust you guys, but we're gonna taste them simultaneously. Like we're, oh, yeah. no, we're gonna taste them out of the same bowl. So there will be like, you know, be fine. We're married. saliva sharing, but it's yeah, okay. married couple things. Um, I've also heard in the, oh my God, they look like pellets. It's like <laughs> demented dog food. Um, I also have heard in the chat from multiple people that they want like a Franken bowl. Yes. So let's just get a couple of kernels in. Couple kernels, right? Risky transfer. Couple, Ris kern oh, couple kernels in for yeah. like a future Franken bite. Just like we did in our Franken cake video. Yes. We have that like, you know, the, the, the demon batch. But also we have real Sour Patch Kids here in case, maybe not with Sour Patch Kids, but with some of the other things, we forget what they taste like, right? It's like the, the, the palate cleanser. So we can like kind of centralize whether the cereal tastes like it or something different. Yes. Or some bastardized offshoot, <laughs> whatever that thing was in the video game, that gum thing walking around, something like that. Great. So you, wanna, you wanna milk it with the lactate? Yes. Did I mention the fact that Tyler and I have both made ourselves lactose intolerant over the course of our adulthood? Well, I, I, and I now we can't drink real milk. I mentioned that. Oh, you yeah, did? Okay, yeah. good. But I guess I thought that like all of the consequences of lactose were just what happened with everybody. But I think Saf was the one that was like, no, that is, that's, that's your stomach. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> Telling you, you don't have the right enzymes. Um, yeah, sorry. Here we go. Open this bad boy. We have these here. And before we started the stream, Chris was like, I'm kind of terrified of you guys starting with Sour Patch Kids, and I am too. <laughs> uh, but we're starting with a bang here. You need help? I do need help. Here, let me get it. I got long nails. I haven't clipped them for a while. Don't me neither, but I can't do it. Oh my god, you're it. you're nailing it. Yeah. You are nailing this. Thank you for the pun. Cool. All right, so lactate in. Let's do just a little bit here. We don't want it to over moisten. Sorry for the usage of moist. And we also want to preserve our lactate. Oh, yeah. Because I don't know how much we have. I think uh, we have this. I think that's quite enough. I'm not using almond milk with this. I can't do cereal with almond milk. It's just not, it doesn't work for me. So, All right, ready? Not to be high maintenance. Here yeah. we go. Sour Patch Kids cereal. Ooh. 
All right. Oh, yeah, those look like evil tricks, man. Oh, here, yeah, Ty, get one. I wonder if they'll be sour or sweet. Ready? Will they be able to have the duality without the coating outside? Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Going in. Is it stale? It's funky. It's so punchy. I'm going for some more. That's pretty good. It tastes like um, it tastes like trick cereal, like a fruity tricks kind of like fruity pebbles are more like like rice krispies, right? They're more like little flakies. I would say they're like Fruit Loops but smaller. Fruit Loops. They're just Fruit yes. Loops. Yes. Yeah. It tastes like Fruit Loops, but there's like a little bit more of a sugar coating, yeah. like a little bit sourer. I'm getting a good aftertaste right now. Yeah, absolutely. Actually. I think there and is those a are a year expired. There was no lossage of the crunchy. Now, <laughs> may there be bacteria in there? Sure. But no loss of crunch. I like this cereal. And there is a tangy sourness to it. And it has a good aftertaste. Yeah. And when you're playing with chemicals, you always want aftertastes. That's pretty you know? good. You know what I'm saying? The, the aftertaste is always when you know that there's something extra going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. I was seeing a lot of the reviews said that it's good until you add milk because it makes the milk go sour. Oh. Sour milk. Not usually a go-to combination. For no. Me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to straw it, okay? I'm going to see if that's true. Yeah, because that's one of the criteria we should be rating by is, is milk game. And I got to say. Is milk game? Milk game. Post facto. Oh, oh, oh. Right? How is the milk yeah, game? Yeah, how is the milk like, afterwards? Is, is milk game? No. I'll say this. I love that milk is back on the table, right? Meat is back on the table, people. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if that's. I, I don't like it, but I don't know if that's because it's lactate or yeah. if it's because it's Sour Patch Kids. You had a very Tim Allen and Santa Claus reaction to the milk right there, right? When he's lactose intolerant, he gets the soy milk and he goes, yeah. yeah. That movie ages medium. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm going to try one of these guys just to kind of do like that control test yes. to establish the test Yes. going forward. How's the chat doing? Let's see. How are you guys doing? These Hello. are real Sour Patch Kids. And actually, they taste like the cereal. Someone asks. Just less sour. G O T Sharma two eight eight nine. Did Sock lose her ring? Ring is on her finger, right there. What you talking about, Willis? You guys are. You can't. We can't. We got to nip that one in the bud. I know. Sock seriously. Has her on. Yeah. What are these bizarre rumors that are getting started in yeah. our live stream right now? Phoebe Ward says, "Ah, milk drinking is weird." <laughs> I mean, what can you say? I mean, listen, it does, it's weird on my stomach. <laughs> Let's put it that much, okay? But so, okay. All right, you want to finish this? My bowl? mic might have gone out again. It's really? flashing with a little yellow action on this little dot here, but no. who knows? Are people in the chat saying it has? It sounds it one person. to me. We'll see. If it, if, if it keeps coming up in the chat, well, it's right here. Cool. All right, so that's one cereal tasted. So there are people who have had this one, by the way, because there are people who had opinions about the milk. Oh, I thought, I thought it was just generally milk drinking is weird. No, I think that they thought, yeah. All right, I think that's what they meant, yeah. Um, awesome. So what would you rate that, that Sour Patch Kids cereal? We do a rating system here? Well, what's it, our rating system? Is it qualitative or is it quantitative? Is it number based or is it like opinion based? In your opinion. I think it is numbers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I actually think that Trix is a solid cereal. Like on the sort of like S to F tier. I kind of I kind of like Trix. Yeah. Um, I think it's sort of like a, this one might be a, a seven Ooh. for me actually. Like it's pretty high because it's got all that fruity tangness tanginess of like your fruit fruit by the fruit roll fruit loops yes your tricks what i say about my brain yeah um, it's got all of that fruity tangness i like some of the aftertaste if i'm going to go chemical i want full chemical i will say that for a cereal that's been expired for over a year it's pretty good it holds good and it does taste like fruit loops yeah so i don't think i can hate on it however it's not very it's not like for an unusual name the taste is not very unusual no. I would say the taste is pretty on par for like sugary cereal. You know, actually I'm gonna knock a point off for that reason. I'm gonna go back down to six because Saf is right that it's kind of normal. It's not as crazy as it could be. Not yeah. as dangerous. Explosive. Is there a comment um, you're reacting to there? Yeah, Jimena Ortega says, I can see the sugar already affecting Tyler, LOL. Oh, I just stuttered in the middle of a sentence right there. Now yeah. I'm gonna be self-conscious about it. But anyway, so. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, so should we, is that, is that the extent of our <laughs> taste test? Yeah, Jazz W says, you know this cereal has absolutely no nutritional value when it's been expired for a year and it tastes exactly the same. It's like a Twinkie, people. Okay? Exactly. This thing could survive any nuclear apocalypse. So if, you, if there is a nuclear apocalypse, we're going straight for the Sour Patch Kids cereal aisle. Um, that's the way to go with it. 
I don't know yeah. if it still exists or if it's discontinued, but if you can get your hands on it, that will be a currency in the future world. Forget Bitcoin. <laughs> um, so. Sour Patch Kids cereal. That's where it's at. Exactly. Individual kids. Oh, I just realized why Cabbage Patch made them. I, I get it. What? Sour Patch Cabbage Patch. Oh, I didn't yeah. get that. I was like, kids? And you can call anything a kid. You know, I didn't Sour get that Patch either, kids. actually. I, I uh, never thought about the name Sour Patch Kids. It just kind of became an amalgam amalgamation of a single word, right? Which just one's next, Sour Carly? Patches. Chicken and waffles. Okay. Chicken and waffles. So as you guys heard Carly say and Sophia say, next up is our chicken and waffle cereal. Yes. Booyah. <laughs> and it is also a cross collab with Honey Bunches of Oats. And this bad boy came in a pretty dope Sesame Street box. Yeah, and the so I it's like a, it's like a, yeah, it's a, it's like a cereal collab. It's yeah. cool. It was, it was interesting. I don't know where Sesame Street comes into this collaboration anywhere on the box, but it did come in that, and uh, I thought it was makeup for a while because mm -hmm. I thought it was like some new collab that came out and someone right. had like sent it as PR. Yeah. But when I opened it, it was cereal, and. It, I, it did come in a, in a box that made it seem like it was like some bizarre Sesame Street makeup collab that we had received. Makes sense. But it was. Cereal. There's been a lot of that kind of stuff. We did a Lizzie McGuire TikTok, a Lizzie McGuire X ColourPop collaboration TikTok, and we just did a SpongeBob X Wet n Wild uh, collaboration. So yeah, there's seriously. a lot of like kid brand stuff, crossover things right now with makeup. So I figured that's what it was. Anyway, so. Yeah. Ryan we, says that sounds absolutely revolting. Which one? This? This one. Well, we're about to eat it, Ryan. <laughs> On the other hand, Allie Fletcher says that actually sounds pretty good. Look at all these opinions. Yay. This is the law of big numbers here. We got opinions on all sides of this of this uh, serial watching spectrum here. Yeah. All right. So why don't you open this guy up, and I will. Um, anyway. I'll pull up the fun facts. Yeah, and and also we do have chicken and waffles here, which is a good get. Uh, Carly, where do we get it from? Anywhere special or hmm. homemade? No, it's not homemade. Okay, just wondering. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a it's a place in downtown Raleigh. Okay, uh, great. Town Good Eats. So this could be like good chicken and waffles. Could be. Presumably, yeah. And uh, it looks pretty good. It's a chicken and waffle sandwich, isn't it? Yeah. Like they they have done to this what Bojangles did with everything with a biscuit. Yeah, which absolutely. Which is that they, they took it, they sliced it in half, they put it in there, right? There you go. They took the gram. They added the mellow, right? They have, yes. I just watched right. it a lot. Um, Here's chicken and waffles. Talk to me. I've got some 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 fun facts. Salacious details. Uh, Honey Bunches of Oats released its chicken and waffle cereal in 2019 in celebration of National Cereal Day, which is on March 7th every year. Among the cereal's ingredients list are things like onion powder, Ooh. garlic powder, Ooh. black pepper, Marjoram, sage, and thyme to wow. mimic a fried chicken flavor. The marjoram is actually alarming. But putting, for some reason, I don't know, that's the one I was like, I was like, oh, onion powder, that could be exciting though. Yes. We'll see how that interacts with the milk. And yes. this guy is only a year expired. So, hey, there's a chance it will hold up. Uh, it is. I was it, trying to clean up the milk <laughs> and it was just a bad call. It actually, you don't like the milk of that last one. Yeah. Um, it smells incredible. I gotta say, opening it, it's like this oh, thing really? smells like, like an like amazing cereal. Like maybe we're playing in the cinnamon toast crunch area, right? The French toast crunch. It smells world. like French toast. Yeah. It smells incredible. Like there's a maple goodness to that bad boy. Oh yeah. And oh yeah. We're gonna pop this guy open as well. This thing looks, this thing looks, this thing is really pungent. Wow. I was gonna say this, this thing looks next level. But this thing Ooh. smells like a lot of chicken in there. Let me smell that. You can really smell that. That smells more like chicken. It that smells, smells good like though. More chicken, less waffle. All waffle, I don't smell chicken. So that might be one of his criteria. But there is gunion know. part, gu gunion. <laughs> there's what? There's, there's gunpowder in there. Yeah. No. Onion powder and garlic powder. Okay. So, I mean, there's supposed to be some type of like savory flavor. Let's see what these guys look like. Ready? Let's go with the uh, zoom in here. And. Oh yeah. Ready? Oh, oh wow. look at the little chickens! Yeah, look, look at, at that. the little drumsticks. Oh That's my god! That's kind of adorable. Yeah. Oh my god! You ready? Look at that. That looks oh. like almost like a goldfish. It does. Right? It has no smile. It's not smiling back. It's not going to get its head bit off. But it's all good. Do you think the whole thing tastes like chicken and waffles, or is this the chicken? Like, is this little that? thing the chicken? You're going. You're tasting that independently. I kind of want to. I fine. Well, we're just going to get rid of the no dry rule then. Oh, was there a no dry rule? But there's no rules. <laughs> this is only madness, or whatever. Yes, exactly. No Ready? method, only madness. Go for it. You're, you're, I want to save. I want to wait for the cereal experience. 
I'm the uh, more honest tester here. Is that a good reaction or a bad reaction? It tastes like a sweet Funyun. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs now. Like, I just, you that, go down to the warehouse? <laughs> you don't like that. I don't know. Sweet Funyun. I mean, like, I love Funyuns. That's the onion powder right there. Onion it is the garlic, onion powder. Right? I don't know if I taste the garlic so much, but I taste some onion powder for sure. Yeah, semi-food taste of the Funyun. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go in with the cereal, the, the uh, spoon swipe. Do you wanna come in with the spoon swipe as well? Yeah. Or do you wanna look at the chat? We can look at the chat, it's all good. I can just I'm on go my ahead. fun facts right now. Oh yeah. Let me see what happens if I go back to the chat. Maybe. It's mayhem? I can't tell if it's, Is yeah. it catching up? Okay, here we go. Do we have a shot here of this? these guys bouncing around? <laughs> I feel like an expired cereal, or like a semi-stale cereal, has a higher likelihood of like getting soggy faster for some reason. Almost like its fortification might be like, there's not based on Ooh. anything. Oh, yeah. 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 It has less integrity. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Irish Panada says, don't forget to add it to the Franken bowl. So once we're, not not this, but once we're done, let, let's make sure we add some to the Franken bowl. You guys on the table right now, as a chat, this is why it's like, it's a social eating experience, right? Yeah. You guys are giving us heads up. We're not missing our criteria. Cheers. Is that cheers? Yeah, I definitely have a chicken drumstick in there. I'm not sure if I have a drumstick or a like giant oat, but. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you got somewhere, you know, like. <laughs> um, okay. The flakes are good. Like yes. The, actually, um, eating the little drumstick by itself was way more oniony. Yeah. But when you eat it with the mix of like the other, like the honey bunches of oats, the little flakes they've got in there, and then the little waffle icons, the little waffle dudes, mm -hmm. all together, it kind of offsets the onion powder a little bit. I don't taste a lot of onion powder. I am a big honey bunches of oats dude. Dude. I like honey bunches of oats, the vanilla version. I like honey bunches of oats, honey version. I like honey bunches of oats, strawberry version with the dried strawberries, which is, you know, the weakest of the bunch, but it's an interesting one. Mm. I like honey bunches of oats. So this has a lot of that going on. So it's almost like oatmeal with a little chicken action. It's got a little more of like a maple flavor to it, yeah. I'd say. I would say the chicken, like the little chicken guy by himself, less good. Yeah, no, he's gross. I just tasted one. Yeah, by himself, he's a little weird. Yeah, he's not. He's I a little think, oniony. You, you know what? I think you like f the way you described it was very positive with the funyun reference, because funyun is like an extreme flavor snack that is a positive experience. But it's funyuns, but sweet. Funyuns that's not necessarily I'm, good. You know, I'm tasting the I'm tasting the onion powder right, right? now. Right. Yeah. I wonder if that's one of those things that when I taste more, I can't like miss that. Right. Once you think about it, you can't lose it. Um, I was gonna say, you know how like people eat. Lucky Charms, like they'll eat all the other things and then leave the marshmallows for last. Yeah. You can't do that with this. It's a bizarro version of that. Yeah, exactly. You can't eat everything else and then save the chickens for last. You gotta eat the chickens with everything else. Okay, the milk is crazy. Like, I mean, gross. It's not, I, really? I don't like the milk. You, you should try it, because I, I have liked most things about this cereal. I did not like the milk there. Has the onion powder seeped into the milk? I think it definitely has. It, it, there's a thickness to the milk, flavor-wise. Maybe I just like, have too much cereal in my mouth because I can't taste anything. It tastes like a broth, right? I mean, like, I'm just saying. Mm, you know what it kind of tastes like? <laughs> what? Ramen. It does, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like ramen broth, actually. It kind yeah. of tastes like the, like, is that the Maruchan ramen? Like, yeah. this like normal drugstore ramen like that you get in oh, the U.S.? Oh, yeah. Like, the chicken flavor seasoning packets, but it's cereal. I was going to say, like, the broth itself, because it, well, it's got chicken, so it's kind of like chicken broth. I mean, it tastes like really any ramen that I've had, like a little bit. Like it's kind of got a thick flavor to it. I also like A, that we're both drinking out of the same straw and B, that it kind of looks like we're smoking a giant pipe. <laughs> like I'm like, mm, I'm, yes. like I'm like the uh, caterpillar, right? He's like, and who <laughs> are you? Exactly. Is that it, what he's it, like? Yes. And or um, we're like uh, Sherlock Holmes vibes, you know? Here you go, Watson. Okay, the whole experience is kind of like eating ramen. Yeah. It's kind of like that. It's all like a chicken broth flavor, actually. <laughs> when I eat it through that lens, I like it more. <laughs> like not diluting myself into its sweetness is good. Kenzie P says, I was just talking about getting those bowls for ramen. I mean, honestly, I can't really actually handle like drinking the ramen broth, at least not all the way. But if you wanted like a sip or two of the ramen broth, yes. 
But the ramen broth gets too salty for me sometimes. This is excellent, and this doesn't taste anything like this, just to be honest. This mm. is much more of a maple dynamic. They're going for the ego, right? Maybe the margarine is even what's moving the needle a little bit on this. Um, but this thing just tastes like chicken, but it's delicious. I'll um, save this for dinner, actually. I'm going to eat that later. Here, here we go. I don't want to go this far. I can eat whatever I want. Uh, Pratika Mall says you could use the milk to make fried chicken. Like it's double fried chicken milk. Interesting. Double, double, double fried chicken chicken. That sounds there like a go. TikTok, baby. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> you could just put that in there. Right? It's like that's our batter. Yeah. It's actually pretty interesting. Also, I think that, so one of my greatest failures in life, people, everyone, is that I tried this like super spicy ramen challenge and I was able to eat <laughs> all of the noodles, but I had to finish the broth within 30 minutes to like win a photo on the wall, but I couldn't do it. This thing, I believe, could enable a solution because when you drink the super spicy ramen through the straw, the spice doesn't hit the same. It like nullifies some of the intensity of the heat, which is really difficult to work around. So you can just inject it to the back of your throat. The guy that I was competing against was <laughs> able to accomplish it because he used boba straws oh, to okay. drink. He was able to drink all of the broth first and then he ate the noodles in his hands. Okay. But that's all I gotta say. I don't just... <laughs> <laughs> I like when I tune out for a second to look at the chat and then I come back in and Tyler's just on a diatribe and I just cannot, I just don't even know what's happening. What does the chat think about that diatribe? <laughs> what, do they, what do they think about that diatribe, okay? I, I feel like I was on a roll there. Um, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone's, people are asking for mug of the day, which hopefully means that those people missed the whole all of our mics died at the beginning of this segment. Uh, did we forget to do it or did we do no, it? No, we definitely did oh, it. Go. It's Dagoba, but maybe our mics were dead. They might have been dead. That's a cool Dagoba. Dagoba. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend the first 10 minutes of the stream just didn't happen. Yeah. We're just gonna move on. Um, I'm gonna move this over here. Yeah, Scarlet Moon says, what an odd story in a serial stream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, people are asking for Franken milk. No, I'm sorry guys, no, no, no. Guys, I pitched that. Okay, no. now we're talking about Franken milk. I think that Franken milk's a decent idea, okay? No. Maybe, well, let's put it this way actually. We don't need, <laughs> We don't need to prototype it. Once we have our Franken bowl, we'll just put milk in and it'll become Franken milk. It's all good. We've got It's Wolfie Hun says, Tyler has left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chris, that was a medium interesting story, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are planning on doing spicy ramen at some point in the future on the stream. So I feel like maybe you're, it's all coming together a bit, but I really did tune back in to just complete. I had no idea what was happening. You had a, sir, this is a Wendy's moment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this stream is a Wendy's, yeah. There you go. All, All right, right so, great. So out of 10. Out of 10. Actually, when I consume it under the guise that it tastes like ramen, or it's almost like a ramen replacement, I actually give it like a, an eight. I actually really liked it. I don't like the individual pieces. I would I say six. The individual pieces are less than the whole. And the, mi the milk, I'll give like one. I thought the milk was crazy. Um, but maybe if I, I consume it- I didn't think it was so bad. If it's like, if it's like a broth, maybe it's, it's higher than that. Um, which one's next, Carly? Peeps. Peeps! Okay. All right. So now that we're done with our honey bunches of oats, chicken and waffles. So that was, I was flipping my, my hair and then adjusting my pants also. <laughs> they rode up. That's what you were doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have Peeps cereal up next. <laughs> um, Peeps cereal. Now, um, this I am excited about because I, I'm a big marshmallow and cereal person. And by big, I mean that I like it. And I also think I idealize it because I wasn't really allowed to have it. Ah. So it's not like I'm a frequent, frequent consumer of marshmallow and cereal. It's more like I, I put, place it on a pedestal. I'm not a big marshmallow and cereal stan, actually. I mean, I didn't have it on a pedestal. I kind of ran wild with like, you know, different cereals. So I had Lucky Charms. They're good. I didn't do the thing where you like wait till the end. What I actually like to do was intermix my marshmallows as much as possible because I didn't like only a marshmallow in, marshmallow -in blast. So I like to mix it up. Is there, is there a chat? Yeah, there's, well, there's a couple that I just wanted to address really quick. I'm gonna open this while um, you're talking. Yeah. yeah, well, Steph L says, I was tuned out writing and tuned in when Tyler was talking and now I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chimichanga says, can someone tell me what cereals they've tried so far? Yes, I'll do it just for you. We just tried the Sour Patch Kids cereals and the chicken and waffle cereal. And I wanted to bring that up uh, one more time because Haley Steen says, when you think about it, chicken cereal is just dog food. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. 
Yeah. Are the comments still roasting me? No, people are really going for the Franken milk, but um, I don't think that. I'm gonna Franken milk for the people. Okay. okay. I'm I drank do it. most of the Sour Patch Kids milk. No, but, but it's, no, Saf, you don't need to because once we make this Franken bowl, we just oh. put it in there. And then oh, it'll duh. all just become, it will have Franken milk. Oh, did you yeah. say that already? I did already okay. say that. Okay, yeah. then I missed it. <laughs> um, yes, and then the other question was, um, is the, it was the chicken and waffles expired? I think it was. Yeah, about a year. It was year. from 2019. About a year. This that's is two actually, years ago. I believe one, this is one of the only ones that's not expired, this Peeps thing. This is gonna expire on November 22nd, 2021. So we got time. All right. <laughs> I wanna dole this out. It actually, you know, it's very interesting because it's not actually a marshmallow cereal. Ready? It's not? Yeah. Watch. What? It's not marshmallows. It's yeah. like, it's like a, it's not. What? No it's, way, yeah, yeah, there are. Oh, there are marshmallows in there. Wait, why would you do that to me? Because it doesn't look like there's marshmallows. This is a marshmallow right here. Yeah. Um, people are saying that they like peep cereal. Oof. This thing a is, lot of people say peep cereal is really good. This thing smells good. And also the fact that it's not expired implies that maybe it's like not discontinued. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah. Also, we don't have any peeps. I know we have like, we have a, we have a comp for everything. And I know for a fact that Carly was running all over Raleigh today looking for peeps. And yeah. I think that once we left Easter season, they kicked them out. Peeps are gone, man. So couldn't find peeps, but we tried. Yeah, we tried really hard. We yeah. tried. Carly tried really hard. So <laughs> no sweat. This thing smells incredible. I don't know what it's. It smells like something <laughs> that I know of. I can't really think of it. Do you know what it smells like, Soph? Peeps. It smells like, it smells like peeps. Oh, yeah. It smells like some kind of marshmallow supplement, you know? I think it smells like peeps. Okay, here, milk incoming. I think it smells like peeps. <laughs> Intense shot <laughs> yeah. on your eyebrow. I think it so smells like peeps. dancing caterpillars as you are investigating the smell. Yeah, CL Cookie 77 says, I'm mad that it's not entirely marshmallows. I agree. Although they do sell that one cereal that's like Lucky Charms, but only the marshmallows nowadays. Too intense. But I, I would like at least one bowl in my life. Those things are too intense for me. That, the like crunch berry oops version, those kinds of things, I can't handle that. I need the standard cereal to offset, like the berry berry kicks offset. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like the only berry 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 kicks. Yeah. Too much for me. Let's eat this while, before it gets soggy, and then I have some Peeps fun facts. All right. Why do we have three spoons all of a sudden? Because we have four spoons total. Oh. And I brought one in sort of quickly. No, it's okay, just put it back. It's okay, no. Mm. All right, it's okay. All right, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> You're micromanaging over there. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. I gotta get one with marshmallow, good distribution of the different attributes. Ready, cheers. Cheers. Oh man, that's mm. good. That's really good. That mm. is dessert. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Very corny. More corny, less Fruit Loop. Yeah. It doesn't have that explosion of sugar that Fruit Loops has. And it also, like, the base matches the marshmallow more than it does with Lucky Charms. It kind of tastes like corn kicks. You guys know those kicks? Yeah. K-I-X, K oh, yeah. the ones yeah. that are like corn balls? Is it double X or is it one X? Double X. Yeah. <laughs> Triple X. Um, the kick cereal, and then the marshmallows are like the Lucky, so like the, the non-marshmallow part is like a kick kicks, and then the marshmallows are like Lucky Charm marshmallows. This is an excellent cereal. It's this pretty needs, good. We need to share this with the world, people. <laughs> <laughs> More people need to know about this cereal. Um, I mean, listen, I feel like they're they're really underplaying the peeps nowadays. Maybe peeps are not as popular as they used to be. Um, I don't know if peeps aren't popular at CVS around Easter. I feel like that they, they go ham Maybe city. I'm just not a child anymore, so I just don't <laughs> encounter peeps as much as I used to. You peeps all the time. Yeah. But right. those are, that's pretty good. That is better than a literal peep. Because sometimes actual peeps are really, really sweet. Yeah, I know. And that is, that's good. They'll take a couple years off your life, yeah. All right, so put that in the Franken bowl. Here we go, ready? Here are some fun facts about peeps. Um, peeps used to be made by hand and took upwards of 27 hours to make. That's insane. But now can be made in under 10 minutes with a machine called the depositor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that looks terrifying. That looks horrifying. That's like a terrifying segment in like Toy Story 7. Oh my God, <laughs> evil peeps. On New Year's Eve, a giant peep about 400 pounds and five feet tall is dropped 
in Bethlehem, PA. Wow. The home of Peeps. Oh my God. BPA, baby. Bethlehem. That's, that's not a marshmallow, right? That's just like an icon. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Oh. Okay. Like, well. Okay. I was trying to imagine how <laughs> how much marshmallow you would need to have 400 pounds yeah. of marshmallow. That's very gelatinous. Yeah. Like, that's insane. That's it's like that's like the giant pizza from Gilmore Girls that like almost kills Kirk. Yeah. Right. It's just I, a giant. Yeah. I was also thinking I, we never explained what a peep is. If anyone doesn't know what a peep is. You're probably clicked you, out already. Are you fit to describe what a peep is? Yeah, it's, it's like a tiny marshmallow being. Either, <laughs> either a, a bird or, or, a, or a bunny. Sometimes there are other animals and they are like covered in colorful sugar. And it is released around Easter. And they're, they're all the animals that somehow got roped into Easter. Yeah. You know, like the, the bunny, the, ch the chick, the chickadee. The chickadee. Uh, how did that become an Easter icon? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's it's a marshmallow. It's delicious. Uh, it's dangerous. <laughs> this thing though is pretty good. I mean, this is a. I mean, the milk. It's got you know no sugary milk flavors. This is not a uh, a cocoa crisp. What is that called? Cocoa for cocoa puffs. It's not cocoa really one of those puffs. where it's a transformative milk, but it's a delicious milk nonetheless. Yeah, people like the depositor. Um, <laughs> Elise Borth says, "Rolling up with my peeps battalion." <laughs> I like that. Also, the giant peep. All hail giant peep. That's some good B-roll. Also, makes me also think of Dula Peep. Dula Peep? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what would you rate the Peep cereal stuff? I would say that that was the, probably the most cohesive, like the, the best one we've had so far. Yeah. I think that it is more tolerable, like long term, than the Sour Patch Kids. I thought the Sour Patch Kid was better than I thought it would be, but it cl could cloy. Yeah. Um, the Honey Bunches of Chicken and Waffle was... And then that one was pretty good, actually. I liked Peep. I would say Peep cereal. I am a, Lucky Charms is definitely my favorite, like, marshmallow type cereal. But Peep is like a close second. That's a good cereal for me, like overall. Oh, there's one right there. My bad. Those ones have been watched. Oh, those are the backups. Okay. Those are the backups. Yeah. Uh, These are oh, the B team bowls. Yeah. Overall, we were actually had those there in case you guys were so revolted by us sharing the bowl. I don't know why we thought that'd be something that'd be gross, but we had them in case. So we could have that as a backup. Also, then we could do like a dual like ah. cereal-ing, but you know, we don't only have so much lactate, so. Here's another fun fact, yeah. unverified to be fair, because it's from the chat, yeah. but a fun fact um, as to why rabbits are a part of Easter. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna get rabbits another. Rabbits are a sign of fertility, and there used to be a pagan festival that then got mixed up with Christianity. It's an interesting research topic. There you go. I guess that's where the Easter bunny comes from. That is pretty interesting. Uh, so which Unverified one, tea. Which one are we uh, grabbing next? Fred. Okay, so this one is an exciting one. This is why we're not calling it just bizarre. This is also unique or just like, in this case, unusual, from, unusual or f just from around the world. Because we got here bread cereal, and I believe this is from Japan. Yes. Right? Now, we have had bread in unique ways in Japan. We have. We have bread in a can. Right. Right. When we did our vending machines video, we had bread in a can, and it was awesome. I don't know how regularly people eat this bread cereal, but it sounds interesting. But what we found with the bread in the can when we were in Japan was it was just like a nice pastry inside of a can. Yes, it was. It was not like the Squidwardian no. bread in a can. It was kind of like a strawberry Danish inside of a it can. It was actually excellent. So if you are in Japan at some point in the future, Kichijoji Park, they have really good yeah. vending machines. They also have, that's where they have the wasps that you can eat too. Which I is, would recommend the bread, the bread in a can I'm over the wasps. I'm more of a brand. Uh, yeah. I'm more of a bread guy than I am a wasp guy, you know? <laughs> so, cool. I'll open this guy up. Anything going on in the chat? Um, a couple of things. People are talking about um, canned, yeah, just the canned bread. Canned bread? Just the canned bread. Yep. It was yep, super yep, yep. good. Yeah, Snurp Nederlander says, it's truly amazing to see Tyler's slow descent into sugar madness. I told you guys, I feel like I've prefaced so I'm allowed to just continue to just, my brain's allowed to melt outside of my ears, <laughs> right? Um, so a question, is this one expired? Oh, good question. No. It's no. Not. It's not. No. All so right. Maybe this is a regular arsenal. There you go. This, th by the way, this thing smells unbelievable. It smells like butter rolls. Oh, I mean, let me sniff. No, really, it smells incredible. I, Give me a little sniff. You might be, you're, you have more advanced nostrils than I do. Yeah, right? I feel like that, um, what's that, that TikTok sound? Everyone, all the, all the, Gen Zers all say like sheesh, right? Yeah. But then now there's like a TikTok sound that is like a heavenly sheesh. It's like sheesh <laughs> or something like that. It's very good. That was That's beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. That was angelic. 
So it was like almost like the, the clouds parted. No, yeah. it smells unbelievable. Heavenly sheesh is what I would say. It kind of smells a little bit like the French baguette candle from Bath and Body Works. Yes. A little bit. It is a buttered baguette. Yes. Would you like us to assign someone to butter your baguette? No thanks, I've got bread cereal. <laughs> Oh, that's um, why there's a baguette underneath the table. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Baguettes! Oh, just storing my bread there. <laughs> Hello. Uh, this is a meaty baguette, too. This has kind of got like that like Aladdin bread vibe. Really, like, there's a giant mm. piece of bread and it looks amazing. It is a very attractive looking loaf of bread. I'm looking at it on our monitor. It looks good. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Still, I think it's rather tasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> and claimed. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Now, this thing smells incredible. This, yeah. Um, here we go. Ooh, that butter. Ra Ra Raquelin, Raquel in Andere says, bread cereal sounds like a bag of croutons. It kind of does look like a bag of croutons. I mean, you're about to see. Ready? But it smells amazeballs. Ready? Yes. Amazeballs coming in. Oh, yeah. Look at them. They look They're like, like tiny bruschettas. They, oh, yeah. Bruschetta. Look at as, this. As uh, Giada would say. Giada would say it like that. I don't know, actually. I think they say it differently. I'm yeah. just making, I just look make it up as thing. I go. Look at this thing. This is, that's beautiful. I mean, There's like, also the occasional the this. Oh, hold on, hold on, stop. Ready? What is that? I don't know, but let's just put that on there. And you got your bruschetta right there. What? Was that red thing supposed to be in there? No, it is. I think it's supposed to be a strawberry. Oh, it's supposed to be a strawberry. Yeah. I was like, Hold on, hold on, hold on. There are blueberries in here too. Oh. You gotta get them out. Mayday! And then Mayday. it looks like what could be, I think, almost like butter in there too. This is, this is, this is beautiful. Now what's challenging though, is I think there's almost a density <laughs> uh, situation here. Where the uh, the bread is more dense than oh, the- uh, So the fruit are all at the bottom? Yeah, so got I got it. one blueberry in there. <laughs> there you go, see there's a blueberry. It's tiny. This is like, it's oh. really small. Oh. Yeah. So there is, now we have all flavors involved in this delicious, delicious looking cereal. So cute. All right, ready? Here is my, is my, here are my fun facts about bread cereal. <clears throat> Japan has historically been regarded as being a rice-based food culture, but bread is eaten almost as widely. Oh yeah? In 2011, Japanese households actually spent more on bread than they did on rice for the first time in history. Interesting. Recently, there has been a renewed interest in Japanese style snack breads TikTok. through social media, with the cream cheese and fruit filled sandwiches oh, making yeah. the rounds on TikTok, and the Sendai Bakery going viral for its brightly colored loaves that look like watermelons when sliced. Dude, that Ooh. looks incredible. <gasps> wow. That's amazing. We gotta get there somehow. And also, you know, the trend of bread in a can. Bread in a can. In unusual vending machines. No, honestly, the greatest arsenal of like baked things in like every place ever in Japan. Like in 7-Eleven, like even like they oh, have yeah. this thing. Well, 7-Elevens in Japan are like next tier. Yeah. They're unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but they have like just like incredible like melon pan, I think is one of the ones. <gasps> yeah. And uh, you can just eat that all day. It's amazing. So good. Yeah. All right, should we do this off? Yes. All right, ready for a little bite? Yeah, I got a blueberry. They kind of look like misshapen corn pops, corn but pops. they smell so good. Corn pops comes to mind, yeah. Oh my God, and a tiny blueberry. All right, cheers. Cheers. All right, here we go. I knew Chris was waiting for it. <laughs> you can see the little tiny blueberry right there. Oh, that's so good. There's amazing egginess to that. Amazing egginess. And that blueberry packs a punch. Just what a texture! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why is Japanese stuff so good? RIP headphone users. Wow. It's really good and it does actually have a bread wow. flavoring to it, which is amazing. My mind is blown. What the heck? Move aside, Tyler. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Tyler. <laughs> I would They're like to be out here. I would like to be married to this bowl of cereal. <laughs> You're giving weight to the conspiracy theories that you've lost your ring, Sophia. <laughs> That texture. You like the texture? It's crispy, and yet it's light as air. Oh, it's soft a little bit. It's soft. The milk is intermingling nicely, but it's not soggy. It's wet, but it's not soggy. Do you know when you have garlic bread, and the ins it can have crispness and softness simultaneously? Yeah. That, you know, that's what you got there. But it's it not garlicky, it's just butter. It's butter. But it's not, it's not, but it's not greasy. Where did the butter go? It's, it's in your stomach. It, that is an amazing cereal. And also, it's not too sweet. It's got that semi-savory thing going on. You know what I'm saying? That is the best cereal I've ever tasted in my whole life. I'm like near tears right now. Are you serious? 
I just had <laughs> like a full on like paradigm shifting spoonful of cereal. So this is not a bit for the stream. No. You really like it. Okay, got it. I really like it. <laughs> I'm just making sure, okay. Uh, I don't need to eat that bread. You can have that bread. I'll have this bread. You eat it. Okay, well, I actually wanted more cereal, oh, too. Oh, here, have here, here, bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? It's insane. It's insane. This needs to go viral on TikTok. Yeah. Forget the sandwiches. We all know the sandwiches are good. Yeah, forget that. The watermelon that. bread looks no. great. It looks great. We this. know. This. People need to know about this, people. People. People, you need to know about Get this. Get the word people. out. <laughs> no, this is actually super good. What's it called in case people wanted to order it? It's just a bread cereal on it. Is it that simple? It's like the brand Nissan. Nissan. N-I-S-S-I-N. Yeah. This Meg thing is H amazing. says, is Sophia good? No. <laughs> no. Wow. I literally, I literally did just have an out-of-body experience that was so good. That's really, really good. Well, the texture is what took it to you to the next level. I'll taste the, the, um, the milk as well. While you're at it, do you want to give it a numerical score? I mean, oh. the milk still tastes like medium because it's lactate. Yeah. But that's a 10 out of 10 for me. The 10? That's an absolute 10. That's that also good. knocks everything else down one. Because if you that's. You want to readjust your score so they're yeah. all down one? Okay, yeah. Paradigm. I don't shifting. remember what I gave everything else, but. You're shifting the whole metric scale. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That was really good. Honestly, yeah. all big reactions aside, that is an insane cereal. I yeah. really like that. Wow. Uh, here we it's go. better than the bread. I gotta it's get real. It's so good. It's better than the bread. Here we go. So Kelly Cortez says, so how similar to croutons are they? So they look similar to croutons, but I find croutons usually to be quite like hard and crunchy. Yeah. And this is very soft. Very not, soft. Yeah, but not soggy. No, crunchy no, but soft. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I got the word, guys. It's got the sponge dynamic. Yes. On the outside, it's got crisp. On the inside, it's got sponge and yeah. softness. And it is fluffy. Yeah. So it is delicious. Yeah, I really honestly like it's really excellent, and it's not like a cr croutons kind of have a, a hint of garlic involved in them. I feel like often. Yeah. Or at least they they retain whatever the uh, the dressing is that you're using. Yeah. So these guys, I think, have a butter dynamic all the way through. Yeah. That's what I got for you. <laughs> What's up? Nana Ot says, "LOL, imagine soft crying on a live stream testing cereal." <laughs> okay, but like it almost happened, <laughs> and it still might happen. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sophia's tears become a tic a TikTok sound. <laughs> Abby Clough says, "Is it bussin?" Yes. I hate that I, I said that, but yes. Well, it you is, didn't say it. It is bussin. You just confirmed. You just confirmed. Is it bussin? Yes. All right. So, so I think we got we got two left. Two? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so our penultimate one penultimate. is penultimate. Mm. is another trip after sort of a more savory experience is a trip down the sugar of death experience, I believe. I think it's a fair way to describe it. It is the Jolly Rancher cereal, which sounds not street legal, in my opinion. It doesn't sound like something you should consume. I did hear recently that there is a Dunkaroo cereal, and I asked Sophia in one of our videos at one point, are Dunkaroos still street legal? They're so street legal now that they actually have a cereal. Oh, wow. Look at this. Jolly Rancher cereal family size. So the yeah. whole family can participate in this. Absolutely. Hey, maybe it's actually, maybe let's not speak too soon. Maybe it's a wholesome cereal. Maybe it's delicious. It scares me because I feel like, I feel like a Jolly Rancher is just like solidified corn syrup. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like they scare me, yeah. but they are delicious. Absolutely. Um, I can't remember which is my favorite Jolly Rancher. So we got some down here. So oh, we do have some Jolly Ranchers. We got Jolly Ranchers right here. They got faces on them. Oh. For some reason, like, I I, I was never really all in on the Jolly Rancher thing, no. even as a kid. No? No, too, too sweet. I've always been, like, a chocolate kind of gal. Okay. I like, like, a rich sweet versus, like, a sweet sweet. I'm a, I'm a fruit sweet person. Yeah. My family was a Mike and Ike's family, a Twizzlers family. Oh. And we would go to, like, the movie. We would have, like, the big Mike and Ike's mm. box and just pass it around. You right. Just go, you go to town, right? Okay. You have some fun facts. I mean, by the way, I think yes. this one's pretty... Expired. Well, November, yeah, it was in November of 2020. That's not that bad. That's not We've had worse. horrifying. <laughs> We've had worse. We've had worse. If there's no 19, I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So let me give you some fun facts about Jolly Ranchers. Play them on me. The Jolly Rancher Company was founded in 1949, originally selling candy and ice cream. But ice cream was hard to sell in the winter months because it was so cold, and they eventually ended up just selling hard candy. Okay. The candies got their start in Colorado, and the name Jolly Rancher was chosen to present itself as a hospitable Western company. 
like it's a jolly cowboy. Oh, kind of. that's where it comes from? Because whenever I hear it, I think like <laughs> Jolly Roger. The, the flag. The for, Like the pirate. Yeah, okay. So oh. uh, my mind goes pirate, but they were like, no, we want to be like a wholesome cowboy. It's literal. And my mind goes the opposite way. Yeah. But that's just me though. Got it. Interesting. That yeah. was actually, like a, that was like the, the Sinbad's not actually a genie moment. Right? You know, like the Mandela. Oh, like, yeah. And it's not a Mandela effect, like, but it's like realize, a, whoa, you know, the Santa Claus. You realize what they're going for, With yeah. With the E, and yeah. you realize that that was a bit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Everyone knows yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all have, we've been on Twitter before. All right, take a sniff. <laughs> okay. Oh, this thing smells insane. This thing Bad smells- Bad or good? No, it smells crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't want to- yeah, you can smell the plastic on that bad boy. Why does it smell like a lipstick to me? <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> Maybe it it's smells crazy. I, I associate lipstick as food, so I'm like, mm, yeah, edible. <laughs> no, it smells, it smells, you know what, you're so right. It smells like the vat of drugstore lipsticks, right? Remember when we were melting all the drugstore lipsticks together? It smells like the whole thing together. So you get a little bit of that plastic dynamic that exists with, with, with lipsticks. It smells like you just took a sh chomp out of like a Bonnie Bell lip smacker. Yeah. Like it smells like definitely it's it, it's meant to smell like candy, but there's something waxy about yeah. it. Yeah. Just a little. Here's the real, I mean, the wax paper in there. Here's a question. Maybe that's what it is. Is it an expired <laughs> Bonnie Bell lip smacker? Well, most of the ones that I have that are Bonnie Bell lip smackers are at least a few years old. So, so. yes, it is. And by a few, I mean possibly 10 or 15 years old. This thing, this is a questionable decision. As I dole it out into a bowl that we're okay, going to eat from. Okay, here we go. Coming in. Dariana Sosa says, some Jolly Ranchers smell like fruity lipsticks to me, LMAO. Okay, yeah, I feel that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. This is, uh, this is, I like the color distribution though. I yeah. like, I like the colors of it. They look fun. They're bluish, they're greenish, <laughs> they're reddish, they're purplish. I we like do it. have one, one quick question. Yeah. Um, I, uh, SMJ9800 says, are pirates not sea cowboys? Which is kind of true, but I wouldn't call them sea ranchers. It's not clean because our cow. <laughs> They're more like sea bandits. Okay, yeah, that's right. You know, sea ninjas. We said no, uh, sea sea ranchers. Got it. Okay. They're not. I guess they're sea ninjas. I don't know. I think I don't I'm know. only retaining I seven ninjas, words a minute right now. I think I don't. ninjas are more uh, specifically trained. Yeah, than no, pirates. they are. They are. I think pirates are more like a ragtag bunch. Yeah. Okay. Well, while we. Well, I still have my last two brain cells. Let's go in and try to get this done. <laughs> yeah. Chris and Ann says it looks like Cap'n Crunch. Yeah, but you know what? It, 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 it doesn't smell as human as Cap'n Crunch. It smells like there's something going on here. Um, so let's do this. All right, ready? Yeah. Did we see it? We got to see it, right? We saw it, mm -hmm. we saw Great. it. Great. All right, ready? I got a heap and spoon right here, if anyone's interested. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Passive aggressive. If anyone's interested. <laughs> oh my god, why did you pop, pop some off my spoon? I was trying spoon? to cheers. You're blocking me out here. All right, ready? Incoming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is even going on? <laughs> Bad first taste. Okay, middle taste. Yeah. Tastes like packing peanuts on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know those packing peanuts? <laughs> those packing peanuts. Do you guys know those packing peanuts? Have you ever tasted those packing peanuts? <laughs> you guys know those packing peanuts that are made of glue <laughs> so they melt <laughs> in your mouth? Oh. So have you eaten those before? Yes. <laughs> Why does that explain so much? Everybody explains that that is known. I didn't know they melted in your mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> So there is a weird, like, um, really jolly, jolly ranchery like coating to them. There's a coating flavor. There's like a sugary coating yes. that tastes like a jolly rancher. Yeah, there's that. You know, like, what is that flavor in a jolly rancher? You know, like I don't know. It's like almost like a watermelony flavor. It's, yes, it's watermelony, and it's like that crystalline flavor. It's almost like you can. It's like a see-through, semi-plastic consumable material. You mean it? It just tastes like a like a sort of like a really sweet see-through hard candy. Yes, yeah, it just exactly. it tastes like a Jolly Rancher on the outside. Then in the inside, it's like a corn pop. And then it tastes like a glue-based packing peanut. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that you finished on a low note, because I was gonna say, <laughs> it starts bad, it kind of gets like sort of familiar to the point where I kind of like that. I kind of like Jolly Ranchers at times. Like, I'm okay <laughs> with that. I said like, oh, my family is a fruit candy family. But then the final, the final act is disturbing. Okay, and, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. 
There's a lot of people in the chat who've eaten the packing peanuts too. I don't feel quite Okay, what do they say? Um, people say, I indeed have tasted a packing peanut, LOL. Everyone, uh, everyone used to say they were edible. I tried them and yes, they do melt. <laughs> don't worry, Saf, I too have ate those packing peanuts. You feel seen. I feel seen. You okay, feel good. Because okay. I felt like yeah. as so, as I started saying it, I felt so embarrassed, but I couldn't stop. Yeah. But now I feel seen. That's yeah. live streaming, people. <laughs> Once yeah. you start, you got to get to the end. Um, I'm gonna put this into the Franken bowl because that's still happening. Wow. Yeah. Dank meme says your brain cells are morphing into cereal at an alarming rate. Yeah. No. I mean. Yes. Here, let me put it this way. I can feel that warm thing in my head right now. You know when you eat like a lot of sugar and it starts getting warm in your head? That's what I'm starting to feel. So like, I, and I have to like think around it. You know what I'm starting to say? You know, I gotta think around the thing in your head. That's it, okay, yeah, let's do it. Here we go. That's what I'm having going Here we on. go. Okay, yeah. Nicole Ferguson says, packing peanuts are made to be biodegradable and dissolve in water. So you can eat them technically. It's okay. You don't have to validate. That's me an like endorsement. That. It's okay. I know that I'm not supposed to eat it like that. It's okay. All right. So, what do you rate this cereal, Sophia? Actually, I got to be honest. A four. The second spoon grew on me. I think four is fair, though. You know, I'm not gonna trash it. I'm not gonna give it a one or whatever. I actually think the milk was solid. Um, I think it does have positive elements of the Jolly Rancher. It might be a little expired, so like we can't fully judge it fairly. Um, do all the colors taste the same? I, you know what? That's, That's a good, a good question. question. Yeah. Here, let's. I'm gonna go in for a we handful. We thought we were done, but we're not done. Yeah. <laughs> that's just my curiosity. That's Nobody a, asked. No, no, that's what we're doing here now. Okay, so I got a blue one here. What did you say recently? I don't know. Everyone's confused by you right now. I think they're talking about when I was saying my brain. Oh, the oh. hot spot. Yeah, I'm doing a hot spot in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they know. They Lenny don't. Lava says, "Do you have a medic standing by?" Maybe. I mean, we probably should. Chris, Chris knows CPR. All right, here's the blue one. They don't. They don't all taste the same. They don't. They don't. No, they don't. Oh, I'm surprised. The red one tastes like a watermelon. That right? Is, Is it bad that I don't taste that at all? Give me a different color. <laughs> <laughs> well, your taste buds are also associated with your brain, so. Oh no, you're right. Actually, yeah, yeah. they do taste slightly different. So, I wouldn't say they taste like the flavor they're supposed to be, but they do taste slightly different. I feel seen. In the way that you felt seen when the chat verified that you can eat packing peanuts. The purple did <laughs> did taste more grapey. They do taste slightly different. It's pretty good. There actually. are also only four colors but five flavors, so that's a little confusing. <laughs> really? Yeah. Bring it back. What? <laughs> it's like they brought watermelon and cherry into one or something. Oh. Um, I don't know if that's true. Oh. But <laughs> next one. Oh, we don't need that much more. All right. I would say this, people. This is not a bad dry cereal. Like, this is not bad. Like, you could swing this, where like you could take this instead of candy at the movie theater, you could eat this. Okay, all right, now we're done with Jolly Ranchers, right? <laughs> Bringing us <laughs> to the final yes. cereal of the stream, which is, this is sort of, um, this was thumbnail material. Yes. This is, a, this is one of the, the golden ticket items, isn't it? Yes. Um, Do you want to intro it? Yes. Um, so next up we have, as Tyler said, kind of like the star of the stream, or like the inspo behind this, you know, whole thing, which is, I have it, which is the South Korean green onion Chex cereal. Look at that dude. Um, he is terrifying. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He's kind of like a Look Mr. Kool-Aid. Yeah. Right? His body is the food. Yeah. He looks like he's busting through a wall right now. Yeah. What's the, what's the story with this one again? There's a whole bunch of stuff. Let yeah. me let me tell you about it. Yes. <laughs> um, here we go. And it's not expired. Although oh. it's, co it's coming up in the expiration. Yeah. Day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this green onion cereal took 16 years to come to fruition. What? That kid's crying, what? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. In 2004, Kellogg's Korea launched a presidential election event to promote their chocolate check cereal with two candidates to be voted upon. Wow. Chocolate and green onion. The South <laughs> Korean public voted for who would become president of the Czech's Choco <laughs> world. Green onion got more votes, but chocolate still won. It's that meme. It's the, it's, the, it's the funeral meme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. But chocolate still won, with Kellogg saying there were abnormalities in the green onion votes. Because trolls were just voting for green onion, Got basically. It. After the campaign, um, the public complained that the election was unfair and wanted green onion to be released. Wow. So, 
16 years later, they finally released the green onion cereal. Can we just talk real quick about how amazing that ad was? And, <laughs> amazing. And, and also that they don't, I just want to clarify before we taste this, because if this is crazy, this is crazy. They don't think green onion is like a, a, a reasonable ingredient because the one guy was crying. Like, you know, <laughs> like those pretty- those happy tears though? No, like, he no, finally he, got it right. He was crying because he voted for a green onion and he was like- That's the first guy. There was another guy while you're reading. Oh, he was like, but, but I, I think yeah. actually Carly's right that he was, because he was like testing and wanting- Just so and excited. Stuff, the right and then he one. finally, you're right. Okay, I just want, I, you know, anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't like know. The like the fumes if, made him start crying. Because I'm like, if this thing's, yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. Um, and so essentially what happened is that Matt Pat made a food theory episode about this cereal. Um, and I was just like, I have to have that. You have to have it. Yeah. Now, to be fair also, in general, so like, it is not like a, we're not like the, the first people to premiere this cereal. You want me to pop this guy? In fact, I don't think we're the first people to premiere any of these cereals because Rosanna Pancino also does some like unusual cereal taste tests. It's hard open. Um, and I think that she has definitely tried Oh yeah. at oh, yeah, least, scissors. they're scissors. She's definitely tried at least the Sour Patch Kids and I think maybe Peeps before. Um, so we're not like we're pioneers. Not saying, we're not pioneers in the space. We're not saying we invented tasting crazy cereals. But <laughs> this, I'm scared of. This is interesting. I like the whole, this is like re-emerging from like some like yeah. viral campaign 16 years ago. That's, that's, <laughs> that's insane, so. Here we go, Darlene Pierce says, oh my God, the little chocolate checks in the back of the box. Hold on, can we get a little, no, right here. There he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, look at him getting left in the dust. Look at his nose. <laughs> it's oh, like a yeah. crater. Oh. oh. What's going oh. on there? Yeah, well, anyway, so. He's right. cute though. No, let's see what these guys smell like. I mean, I love green onion a lot of things. Maybe they smell like a little bit like a scallion pancake. Oh, like, I, I'm getting a little scallion pancake, but there's maybe the bag smells a little funky near the top. But I mean, it's green onion cereal, Ty. I listen, the scallion pancake, you can do so much with. My mom makes that for me when she puts an egg on it. I fold it up. I eat it. It's like a breakfast meal, so I kind of get it. What do you think of there? You got your whole nostril in there. Okay, this is my verdict. Yes. I do smell a bit of a scallion pancake vibe. To me, what it smells like are those like hard, like um, like East Asian like cracker candies that have like a bit of like a interesting like coating on them. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. It's like a garlicky <laughs> oniony taste. Okay. Yeah. I um, love it. Also, it also does kind of smell like a, a ramen packet. Okay. Like a ramen seasoning packet. And if anyone uh, is wondering what I'm talking about, it's called a toyobing. It's like a, they call them like uh, green onion pancakes kind right. of. Right. You might see them at like a dim sum type thing. They, they can be hard and they, you can like eat them with breakfast stuff. So that makes sense. It's like a savory yeah. breakfast dynamic. So I'm gonna bring this on here. I'm gonna here pour we go. it in. Let's see these guys go in. Um. Oh, that's a cool shot. We rack focus as they were going in. They have a really like, a, almost like a, shiny coating to them. People are also saying in the chat that um, Hoju Sarah, um, our friend who lives in South Korea, has tried this cereal as well. I just ate so. one before, I just ate it like. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> you ruined the taste test. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just ate it impulsively. I didn't even think. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. You distracted with Hoju Sarah, you brought her up. I don't know, I was just. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh my God. And it happens so fast, like no one Oh did. my God. <laughs> I noticed it, I was gonna let it slide. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe you just, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, on that note, all right, I'm wondering what these are gonna taste like. I haven't said anything though, so don't worry about it. All right, ready? My lips are sealed. Did yeah. we get a, a look at it? They look Ooh. great. Some like people in the chat were saying like, oh, I don't, if it doesn't turn the mil milk, radioactive green, I don't want it. And it actually looks like vaguely normal. Like it's just like slightly green checks. No, right, they look ready? awesome. All right, ready? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Not a fan? No! <laughs> no. You like it? I actually do like it. <laughs> I will concede that it tastes like a Chex Mix with like sour cream and onion with milk. 
So if you like Chex Mix a lot, <laughs> it's that's what you're eating. So I like Chex, but I don't know if I want it with milk. I think it could be excellent as a dry snack. Which what Chex on is, earth? It's very onion powdery. Do so you remember earlier when I said that the um, chicken and waffle cereal was like, oh, a Funyun but sweet? This is like, no, I just put Funyuns in milk. It tastes like, like a No, Funyun. it's just Funyuns. It tastes like a Funyun, that's true. When I had my dry one in my first bite, that was... <laughs> what? Okay, here's the problem. I think the green onion is mostly like some type of coating because it's like you get this initial green onion punch and yeah. you're like, oh, it's just a check, like a little checks under there. Yeah. And then you get further in, it's like, no, it's not. Like, it's just, it's weird. You're right, now that it's sat in milk, I think it's lost its coating more. So I think the milk might taste more like it. And I gotta say, post my initial positive reaction, I'm not enjoying it that much. It tastes a little bit like your body's like, I'm not sure we should be doing milk and this. <laughs> no. So I think Chex Corporate might have been right when they vetoed whatever happened in 2004 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Apparently, it's really in the milk. Randy Beasley says they make dill pickle checks in the USA and they're absolutely amazing. That's Dude, really I don't know about that. You don't like these guys? Can I try the milk though? Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to, just to like be thorough. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Mm, no. Yeah, that just tastes like Funyun milk. It tastes like a Funyun. Tastes like Funyuns and milk. Yeah. 100%. Mm. Without a, that's what it tastes like. There's nothing else to say. It's in the arena of weird combination type foods. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's good or bad. You know when people eat like, oh, it's, you know, when you have cereal, but you put bacon in it, it's good. You know, like those videos that people make that are like that. It tastes like a packaged version of that. Yeah. Um, I, apparently, like you're eating it like now, apparently um, Hoju Sarah and I think Matt and Steph Pat both said that maybe eating it alone as a dry snack yeah. could be good, but as cereal, I think it was just, it's just too funky. All right, ready? It didn't age well. You've already eaten like five of these like this. It didn't age well after like the sixth spoonful. Yeah, it's good by itself. By itself? It's excellent. It tastes, but it tastes like a Chex Mix. Yeah. Like a sour cream Chex Mix. Like it, when you it is sort of helped by the fact that like Chex, Chex Mix yeah. as like a savory, salty snack already exists. Yeah. And they have like different flavors. Like they have cheddar and normal salty. Sour cream. And then they have, do they have sour cream? Oh yeah. Or you oh, know, no. you know, the Chex Mix or like, you know, uh, just flaming hot Chex Mix. Yes, exactly. You know? This one, it is quite a potent taste though. Like I feel like the Chex in those ones are a little more neutral. And this Chex really packs a punch. Uh, here's our Franken bowl. As we put a button on this live stream, here's our Franken bowl. Oh my God. With everything in it. <laughs> the Chex, the green Chex are on top. Oh my and God. And you can see our Jolly Ranchers poking through here. So if oh you wanted God. to know about Franken milk and Franken spoon, <laughs> this is what Sorry. you're gonna get. Yeah. Dumbledore says Barty Crouch tongue, I see. Oh, Something. really? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> This is a sizable bowl. I'm upset. Of Franken All right. concoction. Before we bite Franken stream. In, before we bite into that, what yeah. would you rate this green onion cereal? Um, as a dry snack, I think it's solid. It just it's a it's a seven or eight, which is normal Chex Mix mm -hmm. range, right? Ch Chex Mix is not the greatest mix. It's solid. Yeah. Um, it's not like a goldfish. Goldfish are awesome. Flaming Hot Cheetos are amazing. Um, as a cereal, um, on bite one, I think I was trying to give Probably it the benefit two. of the doubt. I think it's I would get yeah three. Three. Two, three. It's not a, it's honestly, the if the bread cereal was a 10, if the bread cereal had been less good, it might have snuck up to a three or four. Yeah. But the bread cereal is incredible. Anyway, so I agree with you. Um, so now we have, now we're done with the green onion cereal. We're moving on to the Franken bowl. Um, Franken, yes, absolutely. Here we go. Before it sagafies. Ripstick05 says Franken bowl looks like dog food. Catherine Celeste says, is there bread in the Frankenstein bowl? There is bread There's in bread here. in there? Okay, good. Guys. Yeah. You guys caught it. Everyone's early asking. On. I think I think that um the Franken bowl has everything in there. Yeah, no, it does. All right, great. Ready? It's a great layer. It's like a yeah. it's so, like Rachel Green's trifle cake. For those of you who've come in <laughs> who've come in later, this is a, a Franken bowl that has a little bit of all the cereals that we've tried today. Followed by meat and peas. More lady fingers. All right, coming in. What will win out? <laughs> what will? Mm. Okay. At first, 
it was bad because I got a green onion check on top. Then I powered through and I think I'm tasting some mixture of the Jolly Rancher and the chicken and waffles. <laughs> Maybe the onion flavor is blending well in like with the chicken and waffles. There's something about the way it's hitting my tongue's taste buds where it's like hitting almost every flavor is right. present. Like, like there, each little area of your tongue is like yeah. dinging. Yeah, this is obviously like sort of like General Mills' master plan because they know how to hit all your different taste buds with different things, right? But I would say that I got a good dosage of the Japanese bread cereal. I agree. Which is the winner always, it's amazing. And I, whenever I get, and I got a little bit of the peeps in there too. But whenever, I got, whenever I got hit, by the Jolly Rancher, I can confirm that I do not like the Jolly Rancher cereal. <laughs> I don't like when that would come through. The aftertaste is the bread cereal, which you know, makes it good. And I think the little bit of the maple in there is helping. And I think the onion powder, probably from the Chex one, is helping the maple a little bit. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tasting a little onion in my mouth right now, and I'm okay with it. Yes. That's not that bad. This is the best way to eat these cereals. Now, I can already feel my tongue withering. <laughs> okay, you know like that thing you get when you eat sweet stuff in general and you start getting that chalky feeling in your tongue? I'm got, I'm got, I have that yeah. right now. And that was after one bite. <laughs> it's, uh, it's breaking apart my tongue right now. Yeah, I honestly think that the onion is actually blending well in as, as the little chicken did in the chicken and waffles. You know what it tastes like to me? What? Stuffing. I see that. <laughs> it kind of tastes like a Thanksgiving dinner. It's like Savory, this. sweet. Oh, maybe a little bit sweeter. Like that can? Like the Thanksgiving get dinner in a can. Yeah, because I actually, because you know why? Because bread is a decent base yeah. in your stuffing, right? You put the bread in there. Yeah. Then you got the bear, the sweet things. Mm. You know, you can put a cranberry in your stuffing. So that could be like the Jolly Rancher. Yeah. And then you have the onion tapes. It tastes like stuffing. Here we go. Um, Maria says Franken umami cereal. Like it's like a new, f <laughs> I like that the milk just went flying. <laughs> no, it's okay. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Um, like it's like a new flavor all together. Yeah. Oh yeah, kind of. Oh, I just got a dosage of the Sour yeah. Patch Kid right there. That was not welcome. Yeah. No, no. Madeline Tisdall says, is it bussin' or is it getting bust out of town? There are individual in here, individuals here that should be bust out of town, but yeah. this bad boy- Is not that bad. Is semi bussin'. Yeah. It's SB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kitley D says, were you trying to milk a cow, Tyler? With this? Yeah. Did I do that? I think you were, I don't know. <laughs> Did I do that? It was I when you were wiping the table. Oh yeah, maybe. no, I was trying to wipe the table. Yeah, no, oh. it's, <laughs> it's not on camera. But it's not work for. says, we're in the splash zone. <laughs> <laughs> what about this uh, social eating experience? It's like, it's on the table with us. All right, ready? Yeah. You wanna try the, have you tried the Franken milk yet? FM, no. The FM? <laughs> That's much worse. <laughs> That's much worse. That looks like an authentic reaction. That's because it's actually <laughs> sweet and then onion. Okay. Versus the Franken bite is onion and then bread. Oh yeah, way too much onion. A lot that of onion. onion. Is not welcome. A lot of onion. That well, I did not like that onion right yeah. there. No, that was bad. Yeah. But I still maintain that you're, the Thanksgiving dinner vibes are there. There's something about it. It's like, you know, the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Excuse me. Oh my God, it's all coming back up. <laughs> um, when he makes like a piece of chewing gum that's like a whole Thanksgiving dinner in one or like a whole meal in one. The one that Violet eats and then gets Yes, the... it's kind of like that. Yeah, and then, and then she blows up like a, a blueberry. Which might happen to us. Yeah. <laughs> we might turn into, where is this guy? This guy. Secretly Violet Beauregard, right Violet here. Violet Beauregard. Oh, wow. <laughs> Remember Violet Beauregard? This is this is where she is now. Um, feel anyway. old yet? Yeah, feel old yet. Um, anyway, that was a really fun stream. I feel like we've learned a lot here. I feel like we've learned a lot here. I will say that even though I didn't really like this cereal, I'm glad that the good people who supported the Green Onion finally got the cereal that they wanted. I'm glad Like it is yeah. kind of like a nice story that like finally Kellogg's gave the people what they wanted and gave them the cereal. I mean, it almost might be like a, okay, you wanted it so bad, like here it is. And then it was like kind of bad, but you know, it's still fun. And it's all, it does taste like Green Onion. You know, at least it's like, it's got some, some tr potency, you know? Yeah. This guy's, this guy, as it's become soggy, has become a lot more questionable. Yeah. With the, without the crunch, that kick from the crunch, 
It's less good. Um, what's up? Claire MK says, remember Tyler from an hour ago? This is him now. Feel <laughs> old yet? <laughs> I'm like that scene in the third Indiana Jones when he like drinks the wrong water and he ages like 600 years in one second. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I'm like right now. No, you look great though. Thank but your you. your brain, as you said, is melting. It's not there. Should did, we do our... Did I interrupt you for doing your final thoughts? It was nothing, it was nothing interesting. <laughs> you were just, you were winding down anyway. I, I'm in this situation now where I can be cut off Whenever, yeah. and it's probably for the betterment of the stream. Yeah, should absolutely. We, uh, should we? Uh, we more, should do our shebang. Yes, I will say just as an outro thought. Bread cereal was my favorite by far, but I also didn't mind the chicken and waffles altogether and the peeps. Those are my faves. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. What do you think? Do you agree? Uh, yes, I think that the bread cereal we need to order more of it because it's awesome. I know. And yeah, it was it was really fun to try, and it was a very different cereal experience. Totally. And I am very happy this guy exists, and um, I guess long live Violet Beauregard. Um, <laughs> so other than that, if you guys like the stream. Make sure to. <laughs> Tyler's like, I'm ready to go. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to just speed out of here. I mean, I'm just trying. You know, I'm just trying to maintain the show. <laughs> maintain the show. <laughs> just you know. Um, yes. All right. For Tyler's sake, let's wrap this up. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your patience as we tried to figure out what on earth was going on with the mics yeah. earlier. Um, if you guys like this stream, make sure to give it a a smash, a like. Give it a smash, smash. Make sure to give it a smash. Make sure to <laughs> smash that like button. And if you want to see more streams like this, tune in every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern and also subscribe. Yeah. Also subscribe. We uh, we also, I saw a lot of comments about my brain. Yeah. Maybe I'm, I feel like I'm making a decent amount of set, uh, sense right now, but it might, I think I spoke too soon. Anyway, anyway, so we do TikTok now. We do things, we're posting things and we're working on our next video for the main oh, channel. Yes. It's gonna be really fun. And we have our social media stuff. There's that's the TikTok. The, that's the TikTok, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then so, we have s social media handles also. Ooh, yeah. yeah. And uh, we're trying really hard. We're working on this next video. It's really fun so far. Um, and, yeah, we'll post that soon. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks for hanging out. And watching our meltdown. And we'll see you guys uh, next time. <laughs>